so I am in the garage and Greg is building some snares. You have to excuse the mess around him in his workbench, but he's making some coyote snares. We've had some issues with coyotes and actually we believe one's responsible for taking down a newborn baby calf and killing it. So um, he started making snare traps. The first year he trapped, he, how many did you get? How many? 30 some coyotes. That's a lot. They can do a lot of damage to our farm animals. So, um, so he's making them. Let me show you. So he's got a spool of wire there and he hands it down to this little guy. And he puts it on his spot that daddy measured. And that's how long they have to be. So then Greg uses a chisel and hammer and snaps it right into. So he just bought all the components. There he is, hanging them all up. He bought the components off of Dakota Line and Amazon. Starts by slipping that little thing on there. Goes back in the other hole. There's two holes on it. Gets it to about, what, an inch loop? I'll use half inch rebar. bar. Half the tree bar that he uses, so when he's actually trapping. Smashing that clip down so it won't come out. Adds a spring. Where Sean even came over. Is that on? And it goes back in the hole. So you straighten out the, the hoop, make sure the wire's straight, puts it through that little clip. What's that clip for? Stop. There's a stopper clip, and he smashes it. And then boom, he has a snare. Hey, 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 welcome back, y'all. Um, today we're going to go check some traps. Greg has set out, I don't know what, how many traps he set out. A dozen or so he wants to get more out um, they did that yesterday but once you set trap lines you need to check them every day um, we don't want any animal out there suffering so welcome back to the mud farm so they're gonna go check a line right here they just have to walk over the hill a little bit um, Greg has a friend with him Greg's friend um, his son wanted to learn about trapping and so he came yesterday and helped Greg well actually he, he came three days in a row the first one he came and um, watched him make the snares and then he came yesterday and helped him set it now he's he came along to to check out and just run the trap line with him his name's Luke it's always good it's always good when you can pass on a skill to another generation Luke's going over this way. So I guess now he's just scouting and looking for a good spot to put another trap. And then we might catch one. So Luke's getting together enough stuff to set another trap. Greg's found the spot he wants to 
set another one. Looks like Luke's done this before. <laughs> Knows what he needs. him set a trap. He just takes wire and his snare and wraps it around several times. <laughs> sometimes he hangs it uh, from a tree and sometimes he uses a piece of rebar in the ground. So that was a bummer. No coyotes today. It's always kind of disappointing. You know, you, you want to, I don't go out every day, but even I'm sure when you go out every day, you want to see something on that line. So, uh, nothing today, but he'll check again tomorrow. He set one more trap. Um, so, I don't know what that, what total that makes him, but he likes to have out at least a couple dozen traps. And I had to order more wire for him so he can get more wire. So, we'll see. I'll, I'll keep bringing you along. It's what we do. All right, guys, so Greg just signaled for me that we have a coyote in one of the traps, and I'm pretty sure you got to see him set this very trap. So let's go down and see what it looks like. There you go. One day trap right there was knocked on the ground. I thought a coyote would come through there. And I reset it and sure enough he come through again. I got another trap back here that actually my wire that holds my snare had a big clump of coyote hair on it so I got another one trapped on the path back there. Big male. Check my traps. Got one here in this back here this morning, but beat this rain and check this trap right here. I thought this was a good spot. I got one here, I'm gonna have to. Well, we got him killed and got him out of that trap. Not a real big coyote, younger one. Dalton helped me all run the trap line this morning. <laughs> 